The objective of this module is to highlight the different functions of the fuel system, including new technology items. The fuel system stores fuel in five tanks. It supplies fuel to the engines and APU and recirculates fuel to cool the oil of the IDGs, integrated drive generators. Engines are supplied by the center tank fuel via the center tank pumps. The different functions of the system are fuel level and temperature sensing, fuel transfers, fuel recirculation, refuel defuel control and monitoring, indications, warnings and test. Let us study the tank usable capacities. Fuel is carried in three tanks the left-hand wing tank, the right-hand wing tank, and center tank. Each wing tank is divided into two cells, the outer cell and the inner cell. A vent surge tank is positioned in the outer section of each wing. Let us study the description of the main components of the fuel system. Each main tank has two centrifugal booster pumps capable of supplying the engines with fuel at the required pressure and flow rate. Pressure relief sequence valves on the wing tank pumps give priority to center tank pump supply. A cross-feed valve permits connection of the left and right engine supply lines. The low pressure valves isolate the engines, or APU, from the fuel supply. A pressure switch for each pump monitors the pump pressure for the low pressure warning. A specific fuel pump supplies the APU if the tank pumps are not operating. This pump takes fuel from the left supply line. Transfer valves allow fuel to be transferred from outer to inner cells. They open when the fuel level reaches low-level sensors in inner cell. Each engine supply line has an air release valve at its highest point to enable the line to be bled. Let's study the fuel controls. When a wing tank pump push button is pressed in, the related pump runs. When a wing tank pump push button is pressed in, the related pump runs. The mode select push button selects the center tank pumps to automatic or manual mode. With the center tank pump push buttons pressed in, the pumps will be controlled automatically if auto mode is selected. With the center tank pump push buttons pressed in, the pumps will be controlled automatically if auto mode is selected. The cross feed push button controls the cross feed valve. Let's study the ECAM page with fuel on board.
The total fuel on board is shown on both ECAM displays. The fuel used quantity indication is normally displayed in green associated with the corresponding engine identification number. The fuel quantities in each cell are normally displayed in green. The cell fuel temperatures are shown green when normal but amber when abnormal. The engine LP valve is shown green in line when normally open. The pump symbol depends on the push button position and the delivery pressure. The transfer valve positions are shown on the screen. The cross-feed valve is green cross-line when closed and green in-line when open. The APU LP valve possible indications are shown on the screen. Let's study the fuel operation by looking at the system display changes through a flight profile. We are on the ground, slats extended and in auto mode. All tank pump push buttons are pressed in. Wing tank pumps run all the time and center tank pumps are not running because the slats are extended. At engine start, the fuel used indication is reset. The engine identification number becomes white. After engine start and regardless of the slat position, the center tank pumps run for two minutes. When running, center tank pumps have priority over wing tank pumps. After this delay, center tank pumps stop because slats are still extended. Well, we are ready for takeoff. Let's go. With the slats retracted, the center tank pumps start again. We are in cruise. Please look at the center tank quantity indication. When the center tank fuel has been used, the related pumps stop automatically five minutes after the center tank fuel low level has been reached. The engines are supplied by the wing tank pumps. Please look at the wing tank quantity indications. When the inner cell quantity decreases to a given value, the transfer valves open automatically and are latched until the next refueling. The outer cell fuel flows to inner cell. Well, we are ready for landing. Let's go. When the engines are stopped, the engine identification numbers become amber. We have completed the auto mode. We are in cruise. Let's study the manual fuel feed operation. Please look at the tank fuel quantity indications. The center tank pumps stop with fuel remaining in the center tank. The fault light comes on 
on the Mode Select push button. The low amber symbols come on as the supply pressure drops. The fuel auto feed fault message appears on engine warning display. The mode select push button manual light comes on white. The center tank pumps run again. Please look at the center tank quantity indication. When the center tank is empty, the pump low pressure warnings come on as the pumps continue to run. The center tank pump symbols are amber because the pumps have been manually selected off. We have completed the manual mode study. Here are listed the fuel warnings which may come into view on the engine warning display. The left tank pump one fault light comes on amber and the low pressure indication appears. The master caution comes on. The pump fault light comes on amber and pump low indication appears. The master caution comes on. Both tank pump fault lights come on and pump low indications appear amber. The master caution comes on. Both tank pump fault lights come on and pump low indications appear amber. When the crossfeed valve position disagrees with the desired one, it is displayed in amber. The master caution comes on. The engine low pressure valve symbol becomes amber when the valve is not in the correct position. The master caution comes on. And the oral warning sounds in case of a wing tank low level detection. The master caution comes on and the oral warning sounds in case of a transfer malfunction. The transfer valve indication becomes amber. The master caution comes on and a high temperature is displayed amber. A low temperature is displayed amber. The master caution comes on and the oral warning sounds in case of an auto feed fault. The mode selector fault light comes on amber in the case shown on the screen.